when you look at what our European colleagues have been doing, so if you look at what the British and the French and others have been doing, they've invested a lot of resources over the last decade or so in disengagement programs and trying to help people out of these extremist groups, mm-hmm. these conspiratorial movements. And these have all been nationally led programs that are well funded um, and orchestrated. They, they come with some controversy and they haven't been perfect, but they're they're trying, right? They're dedicating the resources. Mm-hmm. We don't have anything like that in the United States. There's no national level disengagement program in the U.S. Um, there's very little federal funding being put into community-based programs to try to help people de-radicalize and disengage um, from these extremist groups. So what we have instead, and it's just simply not enough, is we have basically concerned citizens that have come forward to set up their own organizations. Um, often these organizations are made up of, of former extremists, people that got out of movements, um, and they're doing their best. They're doing their best to try to help people get out of white supremacist groups or anti-government militias, um, but they're small and they're only in some communities and they have almost no funding at all. They, they don't get any national support. So in terms of a programmatic response, we are at this point at least a decade behind our colleagues in, in Europe and Australia um, and Canada. And, and so we're, we're really we're lagging behind. And as we've lagged behind, we've seen that the rhetoric has gone in the opposite direction. It's more divisive than ever. Um, it's more militarized than it's ever been. It's more radicalizing. Um, and we have, you know, some um, big things coming up in our in our future here that I don't know that we're completely prepared for. We have the midterm elections. We have another presidential election. Um, these, these can serve as mobilizing events. And unfortunately, we just don't have the programs in place to help people that might be going down the wrong pathway ahead of these mobilizing events.